First tonight, more people will soon be able to attend indoor events in the state of New Jersey. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Governor Murphy is continuing to ease COVID restrictions in the Garden State. In just two weeks, indoor room capacities will increase to 50% with a maximum of 250 people. That includes weddings and proms, funerals, and memorial services, political events, and performances as well. Outdoor gathering limits will also increase. Alexandria Hop is live with reaction from a local wedding venue that is hoping for a much better spring and summer season. Hi, Alex. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, we ended up kind of crashing a wedding tonight, but you'll see about that in just a minute. So that's right. This is peak event season from April through November. And as for outdoor gatherings, as you mentioned, the capacity there increased from 200 people to 500. Mr. and Mrs. Rodrigue Javert. Making memories on a Monday. This couple celebrated their big day in style at Lucian's Manor in Berlin, New Jersey. It's now even trending where people are preferring to have a weekday wedding. The demand to reschedule postponed events is higher than weekend only dates will allow, hence a boost to weeknight bookings. And in just two weeks, guest lists will see a boost too. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy announced that indoor catered gatherings can expand to 50% capacity up to 250 people. We have a large ballroom on premise that can hold up to 550 guests. So we're able to accommodate that guest count of 250. This easing of restrictions also comes just in time for prom season. But not all dance floors will open up. Dance floors, for instance, at bars and other businesses such as nightclubs, will remain closed at this time. At Lucian's, the governor's announcement signals a careful return to the business they knew. We're excited for all of our clients to come in at a higher guest count that they were looking forward to. Uh, and we're, we're excited for our staff and team members to, to come back to work. Also, as of May 10th, large outside events like fairs and carnivals, they will be allowed at 50% as well. And the governor said that if this metric and this trend in the state continues to track downward, then he is considering increasing capacity once again substantially in time for Memorial Day. Reporting live tonight, I'm Alexandra Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Mm, one step at a time. Alex, thank you.